within three days time, you have similar dream and vision concerning your husband. For example, maybe I lied on the day and then I saw my husband he came, he put slap in my face and say, you, you see too much spiritual thing. And then I call my husband. I say, I was lying now. But I don't know. And I was not thinking now, about you. Uh, you are going to a very specific question. Very long question. Can you shorten it? Because we want to ask questions related to what we're talking yeah, here. Very sh short question. Yeah. Then you, you tell your husband. And then you have another dream. And you explain the dream to him. And you have another dream. He has me a dream, and then he said, the all the dream you have, you want to see my down for, and the person curses you. So we go up with such a curse. Okay. Everything we do, it depends on attitude. If we have an attitude of, you know, just now remember when I said that when your husband has done something good, are you willing to say, wow, you're great. You're doing very good. You're a smart man. You're a great man. Are we willing to do that? If we do that all the time, the husband will know it. And if the husband is willing to do that, the wife knows it. And then both will be happy to talk about their needs and problems. And they won't see it in a negative way. But if we, if there is a negative feeling, it's always saying, you didn't do it, you didn't do it, you didn't do good enough, then there is a negative feeling built up. And then this marriage will have a problem. So, the more we build up positively, the more we can overcome this problem. And then when there is a problem, there are different ways to look at it. You say, you, you had the dream, right? And then you told your husband, right, that he slapped you, right? I would say that it's not wise to say that. Because the dream you have, but you handle it from daily life. If he really slapped you or not. If he did not, uh, or if there is something he did not do so well, then you can discuss with him. I noticed this happening among us. And can we try to talk about this and find a solution? Instead of giving blame, a lot of people give blame. You did this to me, you were angry, you said this to me. So this, whenever we say this, remember one day we talk about words of the law? This is all accusation. Accusation will kill relationship. So instead of accusation, we say, well, uh, how can we build up relationship? How can we communicate better? I noticed something happened the other day. How can we solve it? How can we do ministry together with unity? So discuss it. Ask questions instead of accusing. So if you have that dream, it's for you to watch and then see how you can rebuild the relationship with your husband. And when you tell it directly, it will make him feel angry. So we have to be aware. What makes him feel angry? Both persons need to be aware. Okay? Okay, let's move on. Now, for men, he's a fireman who wants to save the, uh, the uh, uh, correct the situation, find a solution, and then the, he thinks that talk about feelings is no, no use, generally. So this is something we need to learn as men. And then for women, the woman wants, when uh, the husband has feelings, she is much bothered by that. Whenever the husband has some problem, the woman is overwhelmed more than the man. And so he would, he would keep asking, keep asking. And then if the husband doesn't want to ask, then the husband will feel, doesn't want to answer, then he feels pressure. So I would encourage the woman, Realize that you want to find out the truth, but then you want to show care. Whenever the husband has done anything wrong, don't blame him, but rather say, it's okay. We work on it, next time it's fine. And always give him positive support. Then he's not afraid to tell you what happened. And then, then he will tell you more and more. And every time he tells you, thank you for telling me. I'm so happy you tell me. Can you do that? So we have to be aware of the situation and work on it. Okay. Now, is it related to what we're talking about? And then, okay, come. If you have questions, when you raise your hand, run up here. So that we save time, okay, please.
business, how to do things, football game, TV, and then women, whatever they see, talk for a long time. You know, I noticed my wife, one time we went to a grocery store, and then we look for some products, and then we could not find it, and then we find other products, we look for it, and we find other product. And then she went home, we were living with her parents, she would tell, Oh, that product was not there. And then I look for this one, this one is not good. And look for this one, this one is better. And then look for this one, this one is best. best. And she will keep talking for a long time. I said, we have the products here already. Why do we have to talk? But for women, talking is part of life. Oh, yeah. And talking about the process. But for men, men generally cannot understand that. Why talk about all this detail? But this is about connection. Because women like connection. Therefore, anything they do can become a story. Now, when a man understands that, okay, when the woman talks about that, she's opening up her life. Now, if everyone in the world are like men, people hardly talk. If everyone are like women in the world, everyone talks too much. But then when we understand the difference, we want to listen and the women at the same time balance it and not to talk too much. Then there will be meaningful communication. Say it again. I said about some men can talk more than women. What, what did she say? Some men Oh, some men talk more. But, but I'm talking about general. Talking about general. But men like to talk, they don't talk to the wife. They talk to some male friends outside. Because of lack of love. Because of lack of love. What I'm saying is, when people get married, they don't think of, I want to love you, I want to bless you. Because people, when they think of love, they, many people think differently. Some people think of love as going to bed together. That's love. That's not love. Love is doing what the other person wants you to do. What makes the other person feel happy? What builds up the other person? So, so as husbands, as men, when we get married, be prepared to bless your wife and listen to her and let her feel important. And then, then the marriage will be good, okay? Now we understand the dif difference. Then men talk more and women talk less with your husband. Don't over talk, okay? Now, to express love, to express love, men and women, men like to use action to express love. I, I do something for you. What is it? Which one? Which better? 
going to do this for Oh, we can do nothing about it. I, well, I can give it to you. Yeah. But you have to hold it. I'll hold it. I should get a longer cord next tomorrow. Tomorrow I get a longer cord. Yeah. And you have to hold it. Okay. I'll give you a longer cord. Okay. Now, listen. For men to express love, generally they think of action. And then for women, for love, Women like words. Women like to hear words of expression, words of love, words of concern. Yeah. So, for men, for women to show love to a man, don't think of talking will make him feel loved. Go to do something with him. So men like action. You go to spend some good time with him. But for women, you want to show love, spend time with him without looking at your cell phone. Talk to her without looking at herself. Concentrated, concentrated conversation. <laughs> Always agree, right? Always agree. Put down the cell phone. Okay. What they pay attention to. Now for men, they pay attention to things, not to people. And for women, a people relationship. So, women pay attention to details. details. And men think, that's not important, this little detail. But women would look for details. So, women are good secretaries. Yes. And also take care of little things in the church. They will remember all the little things. For instance, the babies, whether the babies have food or not, the man will forget. But the wife will remember when the baby needs to eat. So, men don't pay attention to details. Says so something. Uh, the woman can compliment the woman, uh, the man, so the woman can help him. And then the man see that as a help and thank the woman, then it will be good, okay? Expectation from men, for men and women for the spouse. For men, they like the wife to be gentle, like, in this expression. I don't know whether you have it in Africa here. Among Chinese, mm -hmm. the husband like the wife to lean on him. Uh, 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 <laughs> do, do you do that here? <laughs> well, Africa. <laughs> in Africa, does it happen here? That in many movies and ad advertisements, the women will lean on a man and a man feel very good about it. Okay, okay, please be quiet. Let me ask you, do the women here do that or no? No. Never. Even when dating? Dating? Do you do that while dating? What did she say? I said it's very high, very difficult for a woman to, to lean on a man like what he said. What, what did she say? It's difficult for the wife to lean on a man. Difficult because the husband doesn't want it. Yeah, they want to Let me ask you, the husbands. Do you like your wife sometimes to come to you and hold your hands and lean on you and hug you? Do you like that or no? That's, you don't like it? That only happens when there is satisfaction. When there is, when there is this thing, when there is this thing. Ah, no, what it is? Okay. When there is no money. No. Okay. Answer. Okay. Please be quiet. Please be quiet. I'm asking the question. Please be quiet. Do the men like it? 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 Okay. So that's universal. Okay. Please be quiet. Now, men. I encourage you to be nice to your wife and a wife be nice to, to the husband and you know that wives know that husband likes you to be gentle and soft and relying on him. Is that true? Okay, but then the woman like the man to listen and care about her and then the woman will do that. Like, the moment I arrive at Hong Kong, when my wife sees me, she run up to me, hug me, and kiss me, and is very happy, excited. That's how she is. Even 
on the in a video call, she would kiss me on a video call. That we always show affection. Okay, now if is this related? Try not to ask unnecessary questions. Is it related? Speak to loudly. Say? Speak loudly. Speak loudly from the seat. Speak, speak from there. The other people, please be quiet. But yes, sir, hmm? a hand yeah, money. to do it. Yeah. Because, you get not get sir, the money. Yeah. When their husband not take money, I say, hmm. Yeah, no. Yes, sir, when a woman can yeah, yeah, yeah. take money, I say, eh. Yeah. 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 So that they are going to tell you. And then, some of them, they could have fetation. When they go somewhere, they are different than when they first stay there. When they come home, oh. the fetation they were ending to their wives. Okay, what does she say? All right, say, let me explain to you. Oh, she, she, okay. She is discussing. Right. Normal so, day. Yes, she's saying many years ago, here in Liberia, the situation was not like this. But after the war, I think after the war, now, right? After the civil war, everything changed. Okay. The women, now, if you don't have the money, the boy is good. You cannot get job. Sometimes when they go out, when the men go out and they are being frustrated by their girlfriend outside, they will come home and leave the anger on their wife at home. What do you do to the wife? They will now begin to demonstrate the vexation. The anger. Anger? Yeah. The man toward the woman? When the woman, when the man comes home? When the men go outside, maybe you have some stress. They call home to spit it on the wall. You understand? So the husband, outside there, the husband has frustration outside. Yeah. And then you will put the anger on the wife. On the wife. Okay. 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 Now, I. We can All right, let's have one house. We, we can answer questions now. Yes. You can ask questions. Ask questions later. Ask yes. Questions later. Okay, let me. I'll answer to them. Okay. No matter how the situation is, whatever went wrong, but if you have love, things can change. Yes. So as Christians, can we have more love, men have more love toward your wives, instead of putting the anger on them. Now, very important. Let me say this. On earth, who is the most important person for married people? Who is the most important? The closest person, your wife. Yeah, the spouse is the most important person. So you want a spouse to feel happy, right? Yes. So if the spouse is unhappy, then both will suffer. Yes. So in order to have, help her, the spouse to be happy, then we want to listen to her, care about her. Now she's unhappy about something, we'll listen and try to find a way. Now, I want to say this. Many men find it hard to understand a woman. In Chinese, we have this saying, woman's heart is like a needle in the bottom of an ocean. That means, what does that mean? You don't know how, how it is. You don't know why he's, she's angry. You don't know why she's unhappy. So, so men find that hard to understand. And I want to say this to men. Basically, when you don't understand her, you just say, please tell me your heart. What are you thinking? What are you feeling? And then if you don't understand, you say, is this how you feel? Tell me, so I can understand you. And then if the wife has patience and tell him, then he can respond to the wife's feelings and then the relationship will be good. But very often the husband, 
you know, both sides. The wife, my, the wife might have anger, and the husband turn around and walk out, or the man has anger, and then the woman gets more angry, and then she start yelling. So whenever they start yelling, it's very hard to build up the relationship. So instead of yelling, we think of the other person's feeling. Let me say, my thinking toward my wife, I never want her to feel unhappy once. Now, why? And also, I don't want her to feel hurt once. Because if I feel, if she feels hurt, if one time I did something that really hurt her, she won't have that strong love for me as before. It will affect it. So I don't want her ever to feel I don't love her, that she's not important. I want her to feel that she's very important to me, that I will treasure her, I will love her, and do things to please her. That way, she's always for me. If, even if I sometimes don't understand her, I will ask her. And then, generally, she will tell me why I made her unhappy. Now, sometimes I still made her unhappy. And then she will tell me, because I didn't understand her. Or I did not ask her her feelings. And then she said, you could ask me, you don't know my feelings, just ask me. And then she will tell me. And then, she will not be unhappy for so long. Now, sometimes, let me tell you, sometimes I did something, I thought I did something right. And then she was unhappy. I thought she meant I did something wrong, so she felt unhappy. But that was not the reason. I always think of right or wrong. Men always think of right or wrong. I'm right this time. How come she's unhappy? But she wants me to do this, to ask her. Actually, she was not concerned about right or wrong. She was just unhappy about something. Not that I was wrong. She was unhappy. And then I didn't ask her. And then she was very unhappy sleeping and crying. And I don't know how to calm her down. I think I'm right. I didn't do anything wrong. Why did she cry? But the next day, she will tell me. She always tell me. Because I had some feelings, but you did not ask me. And she asked me, did you know that I was unhappy? I said, yes. But I, I thought I did everything right. And then she said, it has nothing to do with right or wrong. I was just unhappy about something. You just ask me and then comfort me, I'll be very happy. You understand this? Men cannot understand why women are unhappy. We just ask. And then respond to the feelings. And then she will feel much better. Okay. Let's move on. Yes. Okay, let's move on. Because of time. Okay, we cannot have these uh, questions. Okay, now, expectation of men. What would men feel happy? Expectation of men. Now, I was talking about the first one is. Okay, please look here. Please don't talk about you. Don't talk, don't talk. What house? Okay. Now, what house? Men like women to lean on him, to hold him, to hug him, to have physical contact, to show concern and acceptance. Okay, and men like women not to talk too much, to talk short. short. And then men like women to take care of their families and take care of themselves. And men like women to give, have physical contact and to be gentle. And I want to say this too, this is, Statistic: Men like sexual relationship. That's a fact. A woman like romance. What? Romance. Romance. Yeah, yeah. right. Okay. Woman like I will romance. come to the woman. Okay. <laughs> and then, this is it. Men like women not to mention his faults. Yeah. Don't talk about the faults. <laughs> but one way to do it is to talk about it without accusing. Accusing. And this is how we can improve next time. And then. Men like women to obey his ideas. Now if the man cares about the woman, the woman, now my, my wife will say this many times. Sometimes I have ideas of what to do in the church. And then she will tell me her opinion. Sometimes she disagrees with me, sometimes she agrees with me. And then she will say this, I have given you my opinion, it's up to you to decide. Now many wives don't want to say that. They will say, listen to me, if not I'll yell at you. 
They, sometimes women think they are always right. So we want to say, okay, this is, is the man's ministry. We tell you our opinion, you just decide. But sometimes at, at the beginning, I did not agree with my wife, but later I changed my mind because I think about the idea was good. But sometimes I did not follow her idea. And then men like women to respect him to see that he is honorable, he is important, and men like that. Okay, now how about women? Women like men to give her time without distraction. No cell phone, no other things. No other things to disturb. And to concentrate and listen. And when listen, please listen carefully. Don't miss what she said. Sometimes men will listen. They listen like this. And after the woman finished talking, he doesn't know what he's what she said. <laughs> so while listening for a man, if you don't understand, please ask right away. Don't wait. Now different for here. Here you wait later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when the husband doesn't understand, ask the woman right away. What what do you mean? What happened? Tell me. And pay attention. Really listen and respond like this. Respond like this. Look at me. Yes, yes. Right, right. I understand. Yes, yes. I heard you. Yes. But many men listen like that. Many men listen like that. No expression. No response. And the wife said, Are you listening? Are you awake? Are you sleeping? Are you with me? <laughs> okay. And then women. Now. Okay, listen. Now for married men and single men. For single men, if you one day want to have a good wife, you want to learn this. Okay. So listen and give time. And also be careful about little things. For instance. Oh, she is thirsty. Let me get some water. Oh, she hasn't eaten for a long time. Let me get some water. She's been walking for a long time. Are you tired? Do you want to rest? Now, women treat men like that. Women would generally do that very easily. She would pay attention to the man because women from childhood learn to take care of people. And then, so the woman like the man to also to take care of her little things. And also to notice what's different about her today. Like if she wear a uh, new clothing. Uh, do you like your husband to notice that? <laughs> Anything new. Any, a new haircut. And <laughs> she came. She came home with a new, she came home with a new haircut. And the husband did not notice. <laughs> because she never noticed how her hair was before. And so she had a new haircut. She didn't notice. Okay, so she like him to pay attention to her needs, to her things, what she's doing. So if, now let me ask you, do you want a happy marriage? Yes. Then you want to do what pleases the other person. So you want to pay attention to her things. But many men say, I have too many things to care about, I don't want to care about her things. But when we start to care about her things, she will care about your things more and help you more. And then also women like men to guess what they are thinking. Now, now let me suggest to women, don't ask the men to guess. It's very hard for them to guess. Yeah. But if the man can guess, the woman will be very happy. If the man say, oh, ah, maybe someone hurts you, someone says something to you and makes you feel unhappy. And the woman will feel very happy that you guess her feeling. Now for some reason, women like men to guess because that means understanding. But men don't expect that from women. You don't have to guess the men's condition, okay? And then, women like men to be able to listen. If you want to have a good marriage, learn to listen. So learn to pay attention to people. Now I have this experience with a couple who is about to get married. And the woman says something about her feelings. And I asked the man, do you understand? He said, no. And then I said, can you say what she just said? He said, no. 
Okay? And then, so I repeat for him. I told him what the wife said. She said this, one, two, three. She said one, two, three. And I tell him what she said. And then I ask her, ask him, can you say the three things again? He said, no. <laughs> and I repeat it a second time. Now, one, two, three. And I asked the man, can you say it? No. And I, and I talked to the couple. I said, okay, I talked to the sister. sister. You know that he has problem listening. Can you accept him as he is? He has problem listening. He has problem understanding you. Is that okay? But she is still get married with him. Now, if she marries him, she has to realize that if he cannot remember and cannot hear what she said while counseling, he won't be able to understand when she talks in the future. So, if she can accept that, that's fine. But she has to educate him if she wants him to change. And tell him slowly. Now, let me tell you, wives here, most men are like that. <laughs> Have you found it true? Yes. Most men, <laughs> Some men are like the ears are closed up. The ears are closed up. Men have problem hearing. Okay. Have problem hearing and understand. So speak very simple language. Speak very clearly. And if he doesn't understand, write down. Maybe he can understand. And then don't expect much. But if he can understand you and remember what you said, wow! Wow, I like it, I like it, I like it. Then the man will remember it next time. And do some action to show that you like it. You know, my wife sometimes would do this to me. One time, she did something for me. She made a little gift. Little gift, she gave me little gifts all the time. She made a little gift. And then I say, thank you, that's very good. And then when we're walking, she asked me, Okay, today I gave you that little gift and I spent a lot of time to do it. And then you just say, thank you, that's very good. Uh, if you have a second chance, what would you say to me? And then I thought about it and I say, okay, wow, you spent a lot of time, a lot of thoughts to build, make that gifts, to show your love for me. And you really spent the time and I did not respond to you much. And I think about it and I really appreciate you that you put a lot of time because you love me and it's a special, special gift. And as she said, 100 points. She would always thank me and appreciate me when I can respond like that. So husbands, I will say to you, respond to your wives like that. Listen to her like that. And then, will you be happy, wives? Yeah. Very happy, right? Yeah, happy. So we find that husband and wives are universal. The same in Hong Kong or in Africa. <laughs> okay, now. What do wives want, like to expect, okay? They like them to, like him to respond to the feelings and not to give too many ideas how to solve problems. Unless if the wife asks for it. Don't give too many ideas to solve problems. And then, when she's unhappy, she likes the man to listen and pay attention to try to make her happy again. So when the wife is unhappy, you can go to her and say, I see that you're unhappy. When I see that you're unhappy, I feel unhappy too. Say this with me. I see that you're unhappy. When you're unhappy, I'm unhappy too. I care about you. Please tell me how you're feeling now. Is it very hard to say? No. Why do you like that? <laughs> okay, now say it again. I noticed that you feel unhappy today. I that you feel unhappy today. And I see that you're unhappy. Yes. I feel unhappy too. Please tell me how you feel. So I can feel your feelings. Can you say that? Yes. So now you know the key. The key. Why? Why is it hard for men to please the wives? 
because we think of doing things for her. Instead of listening to her, asking her how she feels, asking her her feelings and her insight. When she tells you and then res you respond to it, but never respond like this. Oh, that's a small thing, don't worry about it. It's nothing, forget about it. Why do you like that? No. Even if it's a small thing, you say, yes, I hear you. Now say this with me. Yes, I hurt you. Yes, I hurt you. I know that that hurts you. I know that that hurts you. I know that that makes you unhappy. I know that makes you unhappy. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. And I feel sorry about it too. I feel sorry about it too. So we share the feeling. We share. I share your feeling too. You say, I share your feeling too. Is it very hard to say? No. But we see from the heart. Let me ask you, are you willing to do it? The main thing is, are you willing to listen and to do it? Are you willing to do it? If you have a better wife, do you, will you be happy? Let me ask you, except for the two of them. How many of you feel that there is much pain in your relationship? You want things to improve? Raise your hand. Other than the two of them, because <laughs> let them talk to each other. Then you feel pain in your relationship. You want it, the relationship to improve. You feel pain. Okay? Now, go home and do what I just told you to do. Okay, put on your hands. Put on your hands. Listen, listen. Okay, listen, listen. Order, order. Go home and do what I told you to do today. Tell me tomorrow and day after tomorrow how it is. I will assure you, something will change. Let me tell you, sometimes it doesn't change right away because it has been many years. And then you say to your wife or husband, I'm sorry for all the faults I have, all the wrong things I've done in the years. Today I learned about relationship in a marriage and I want to work on it. And do you want us to build up a better marriage so we both can enjoy it better? And then you ask her that, or him that. And then when we, you both agree, then it's easier. And then you start to say, I want to first tell you now, Remember this, don't start to count. Now, this is how you were wrong. This is how you want you to change. If you change this, I will be better. That doesn't work. Any criticism doesn't work. But you will say, I'm willing to do this. What would you like me to do? How would you like me to respond to you? And this is what I'd like you to do, would you like that? So say what you want to do, and don't want to mention once and even once, what she or he has done wrong. If you want to build a relationship, don't do this. Oh, I want to build a relationship. But you have to handle your anger. You have to handle your frustration. The moment you say this, what will happen? Third world war. Third world war, right? So don't bring up her problems. Because when you bring up his or her problem, he, will, he or she will say, you have problems too, you don't say your problem. You just say my problem. Yeah. So we don't want to say the problem, but to say my problem. My problem is this, I want to change. Can you help me? Can we build up the relationship? And tomorrow, if anything change, please come back and share. All right. Okay, now, we still have 10 minutes. There's a lot to cover. Isn't this interesting? Yeah. Is it helpful? Yes. But tomorrow. Question. Yeah, we'll Ten finish. Minutes more. Well, I'll, I'll go a little bit and then. Yeah. If you have a question, you can ask me later. Okay? You have questions? Yeah. This question time. And then, okay, be quiet, please. Now, all right. Wives like husband to be responsible. Responsible. If you cannot be responsible, if I mean, if you cannot make enough money, you say, "I'm trying hard. I'm trying hard. Please pray for me. Please help me." I have. Tr I know in this country it's hard to find a job. I try my best, and uh, please pray for me and give me wisdom how I can make some money. So instead of saying I have tried my best already, and you complain all the time, it's too much pressure. That way, you start in a fight. But don't. The idea is, say it with me. Don't blame the other person. Don't blame the other person. We can say our faults. Don't say his, his or her faults. Don't say his or her faults. But you can guide, when you can confess our sins, she might, he or she might confess her sins too. 
Okay? Now, let's think. The next thing we'll uh, finish this and then we'll stop here. What causes men and women to be unhappy in a marriage? For men, the woman talk too much. The woman don't give him space. The woman wants to prove that he's wrong. Keep proving you're wrong, you're wrong. The woman want him to obey him. Obey her. You have to obey her, listen to me. And then, because this will affect his sovereignty. His Lordship. He wants to be the Lord of the family. So, as wives don't offend him, but impossible, things that doesn't, you know, things that's biblical and is right, obey him and do what he likes you to do. And, and when you do it, say this, I want to make you feel happy. Yeah, but, but don't say it like this, I do it because I want to make you happy. <laughs> Don't say it like this, but to say, I do it because I really want you to be happy. That way, you really feel good, right? Yeah. And then for the woman, what makes the woman unhappy? The husband doesn't pay attention to her feelings and doesn't respond to her feelings. And, and the husband doesn't notice her feelings and opinion and her needs. And what she wants to do, and then so it shows that the husband doesn't care. Everything that he failed to do, the woman will see that as related to relationship. Now, you forgot to do to buy the food. Now you think it's just I forgot to buy the food, but she would think that you forget about me, so you forgot to buy the food. So women usually see many things related to relationship. You forgot to do it means that you don't care about me. So women will see it like that, but men will see that that's just a thing. I forgot the thing. I did not forget about you. You understand what I said? Yes. That women will see many things as related to relationship. Okay. Um, Sarah. Okay, I want to say this last thing, I'm sorry, because this thing, just now I said it's very short, but this is very important. The five most important needs in marriage. For the men, number one. Hope you don't mind me being straight and honest. Sexual satisfaction for men, one. Number two. A companion for fun. Now, men like a woman just to have fun. We just do things together for fun. Women want men a different way. Okay. Number three, the attractiveness of the wife. Don't make yourself look like an old lady. <laughs> and for some ladies, after marriage, they usually have a tendency have a tendency to gain weight. They will say, it doesn't matter men anymore, I'm married. So we are staying married. And so if I gain weight, it doesn't matter. So I would say, it does matter. And then, number four, that the wife would do housework. Now, husband should do it too. And then number five, that the wife would appreciate and respect. Appreciate and respect. Number four would share the housework. And then the woman's need. Passion, care, time. So that feeling, the romantic feeling. Why do you still have romantic feeling with your husbands? Or hardly ever? No more romance. Romance was for before marriage. How about now? Yeah. Women wants romance. Now, for men, it's like this. Romance is to get the woman. After marriage, it's business. Let me say it. For many men, romance is for chasing after the girl. After getting the girl, well, now down to business. Cooking, having sex, having children. That's for many men. But for women, 
The beginning of marriage is the beginning of romance, more romance. They want more romance. And then many men just go down to business and no more romance. Number two, women like chatting, talking, listening. And number three, honesty and openness to communicate, openness. Number four, financial support, financial support. Number five, committed to the family. So men, if you want your wife to really love you and support you, be romantic to her and talk with her, listen to her and be open to her and support her financially, whatever way you can find and committed to the family. Number five. And number five is committed to family. And then what we want to do is not what we want. Now listen. It's what the other person wants. If the other person wants romance, you give her romance. But you don't give it like, okay, I do some romance for you. It's, your heart is really romantic with her. Now, but some people say, I don't feel romance, romantic anymore with my wife. It has been so many years. I would say it's best to keep it right from the beginning, even now, after many years. Think back about the good times you had. The time you were dating, talk about those days. And then try to restore the feeling of those days, to restore the romance, to build up the relationship again. And then the key is to do what he or she wants, to make him or her feel loved. So to love is to do what the other person wants. Okay, can you go home and do it? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Is it is it the duty of the man or the woman on the romantic action? Well sometimes you can get some women they say they get tired of their husband to hold them. And sometimes women want to sleep with their husband, they facing another side, their husband facing another side. Then which one now should, supposed to start the romantic action? Is it the man or the woman? <laughs> so you're asking, now, let me say this. Let me say this. Romance doesn't mean sex. Okay, let me say again. Romance doesn't necessarily mean sex. Romantic doesn't mean, okay, in bed you're romantic. Romantic means all the time you're saying, I love you, I like you, I like to be with you, I'm so happy to see you. Beautiful from the heart. Yeah, from the heart. Let me ask you, if he or she is your most important person, can you learn to really appreciate that person and say you are really the most important person in my life, right? Other than God, is your spouse the most important person in, in the world? Yes. Yes. So if it's true, then you want to build up the romance, build up the feelings. Now if, talking about in bed, when one person doesn't have interest, what do you do? It doesn't start from the bedroom. It starts with daily life. You always show care and love, and the also other, other person also realizes that sex is important, and then they would, they would be willing to satisfy the other person. So first we satisfy the other person, make him or her feel happy, and then he or she will respond.